The zombies are coming. Hi everyone. Now, Plants vs. Zombies. That sure is a game which has quite a few players. So as to be expected of any popular game, other people will try and capitalize on that success. So, I decided to start a new series in which I'll look at various PVZ copycats. Basically, I'll talk about what the games steal from PVZ, what they do differently, if anything, and if they're worth your time and money if they cost anything. I'll be starting with, arguably, the most well-known PVZ clone, Toys vs. Nightmares. I actually remember playing this game on miniclip during computer class like 8 years ago, but I never was actually able to beat it. Not being able to beat some fucking knockoff flash game is one of the worst flaws a human being can have. So I gave it another go, and here are my thoughts. So the game works exactly how any PVZ clone would. The enemies start off over there, and you need to keep them away from there. To do so, you can place various toys, and each time you beat a level you earn a new one, and you'll get to select which toys to bring to a level, and you'll see what nightmares you'll encounter in each stage. And you can even read about any toy or nightmare to learn more about them. You also receive coins occasionally which you can use to buy new toys and toy slots. However, that's about it in terms of mechanics that this game has. Unlike in PvZ, there aren't any unique level types or new areas to progress to. You're just doing the same thing over and over. And yes, there are several toys for you to receive, but almost all of them are copied from PvZ. For example, here's a frog that can slow down enemies with projectiles. Sound familiar? Here's a dinosaur that can eat one enemy and then needs to digest for a while. Sound familiar? Here's a fucking exploding child, which can take out all nightmares in an area. Sound familiar? There are a few semi-unique toys. For example, this kamikaze bear, which like, is, is that even safe for children? But anyway, most of them are not original. And nightmares work pretty much the same. For example, there's this big bad wolf, which can move quickly until he jumps over one toy. Sound familiar? Except, the pole vaulting zombie has a reason to not jump anymore since he loses his pole. What's this guy's excuse? Is he just out of shape? So, moving on. One of the main appeals of PvZ is its multitude of alternate modes to pick from. Toys vs. Nightmares, on the other hand, has a uh, one unlockable mode, called Nightmare Mode. I was expecting basically something like Survival Mode, but it's pretty much the same thing as in PvZ when you replay Adventure Mode, and Dave will select three plants at random for you. But in PvZ, you actually see the randomly chosen plants and plan your defense with them in mind. In this, you don't know what toys you're gonna get, which is kind of stupid, but there's also not many toys in this game, so you shouldn't have any problem bringing what you need anyway. So, it should be pretty evident that there are not too many original ideas at play here, but there aren't no new ideas. So in PvZ, your main resource is sun, which falls from the sky in day stages, and you can plant sunflowers to obtain more. But in Toys vs. Nightmares, you use fantasy, which comes from books. You'll start off the level with a book already placed for you, and what's kind of interesting is that you can actually click on the book to generate fantasy faster. I don't know how books are considered toys, but anyway, there's a few different types. The picture book generates the most though, so that's what you want to use. Although, shouldn't regular books generate more fantasy? you would actually like need to use your imagination and stuff for that. Just saying. I also like how there's an actual countdown to when the enemies show up. I've played PvZ so much that I just instinctively know when the zombies will start appearing, but it was pretty nice to have it for this game. Another thing that works differently is that there's no lawnmowers. Well obviously who keeps their lawnmower in a fucking bedroom? So instead, if the nightmares reach the end, your mom will show up and save you. She only does this once though parent of the year right there. She'll help you out once, but after that you can just die for all she cares. That's about it for original ideas though. Like I said, most of the enemies are just copied, however there is one kinda unique enemy type, and that's ghosts. So ghosts can just pass through all your defenses and are impervious to all attacks, so you need to use these minor dudes to get them. Well I thought that was original at first, but after thinking about it, I realized this is pretty much the same thing as the balloon zombie. You know, immune to basic attacks and you need a specialized unit to take them down, so... Yeah, I guess they actually don't have any original enemies after all. So anyways, Toys vs. Nightmares. Is it any good? Well, it wasn't terrible, but I can't say I recommend it. Some people might criticize me by saying, Well, it's a free Flash game, it's not like they're trying to make money from this. And yes, that's true, but when the amount of unique ideas can be counted on one hand, then we have a problem. It's perfectly reasonable to take inspiration from another game, 
but you still need to have enough of your own spin on things for it to be worth playing. To be frank, I struggle to find any reason to play this over PvZ. It's not a bad game. The visuals are quite nice, the music is repetitive, but it gets the job done, and the game just functions perfectly well. It just is inferior to PvZ in pretty much every way. If you're stuck at school or something and you can't play PvZ, this works. But if you can pick between the two, it's a pretty clear choice. Well anyways, thanks for watching the video. I'll try to make some more videos of this series, as well as some other things. But until then, I've been Extra, have a fantastic rest of your day.